Well, hi there. I'm Mr. Clifford, and this is AP Computer Science, and welcome to my guest room. A uh, rather awkward way to have back to school night. Uh, I really do enjoy meeting parents. Um, having seen you, and I get to see your kids every day, and so to meet you uh, is a really good thing, I think. Uh, so I'm, I'm disappointed that we're not able to do that in this situation, but hopefully soon that will change. Uh, I have to say, too, that I am disappointed that I only see like postage size stamp pictures of your children uh, as opposed to them in the real world. Um, I think that 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 tends to lend to much better teaching than than what we're doing now. But but I am excited about um, AP Computer Science and this particular class and this particular group of students uh, as I've gotten to know them over the uh, couple of couple of days really that we've had had school. So I wanted to introduce myself and talk a little bit about the class, what you can expect, what your students are going to be experiencing. Uh, here's a little, little cartoon. I think it's funny if you know some code. Um, and uh, so this is why I think it, it's an awesome class. I think it's um, a f fantastic class that really is going to help a lot of students, uh, no matter what they choose to pursue down the line. Um, so I, I tend to joke with my, my good friend, Mr. Silva, about AP World. And um, uh, so that's just trivia. That's just, you know, but this is people are actually making things and it, it, it will lead to some really good things down the line. Should you uh, should a student choose to pursue that, whether that's in college or as a career or what, what have you. Um, the computers are it's the tool of the trade. If your child is interested in STEM, then they're probably going to be using programming, using computers as a tool to do their their job. Uh, so even if well, I, I don't want to go into computer science, I don't want to be a software engineer, but you your child is interested in STEM, understanding code is really going to help them out a lot. And my argument to students is you probably don't want your first programming course to be in a, at the college level. It would be better to have that experience in high school. Um, I had a student last year that wrote a really cool program to pick out his clothes. He had all his clothes listed in various uh, various arrays and said, I want to wear that. And based on if it was clean or dirty, he would be able to match up the rest of his, his clothes. Oh, that was a useful thing. Uh, and I'll see whether or not he continues to use that program to pick out his clothes. Um, outside of that class, but it was a pretty cute project and pretty cool thing. Uh, AP Computer Science is not a popular course nationwide. Um, so 48,000 students took the AP exam in 2019. It's not this past year, but the year prior to that. Um, that's a lot, and that's a definite bump from where it's been. Computer science is, is really on the rise, and we're seeing that across the country, uh, both in computer science principles and in computer science A. Um, by comparison, AP GOPO had 315,000. Uh, English had almost a million students between both lit and comp, almost a million students. So I think that for your students, this course is really going to make them stand out uh, as I am taking a rigorous course. It's not something everybody chooses to pursue. Uh, that's a really good thing. I think that this is a challenging course. I, I won't hide that fact. Um, it's it's uh, pretty serious. And um, the College Board says AP is like the first semester at college. And, and this really is an awful lot like a college course. Um, so it is a challenge. But the reward, I think, is pretty significant. Uh, the students last year, some came in without very much programming experience at all. And they, I think, had a, a very positive experience. Everybody passed, which was great. Um, it was a small class, admittedly. Um, but that was, a real, I think we had a good time. They learned a lot. It was a rewarding experience. So uh, that's my, my hope and my intent for, um, for students down the line. I'm perhaps preaching to the choir. So why take computer science? Because it can lead to some pretty darn good jobs. This is coming from code.org um, and obviously showing that the the lifetime earnings of uh, people that don't have a, a college degree, have a college degree and, and choose to pursue computer science. Uh, so 40% more than the average uh, uh, college. Is, that's a pretty substantial uh, change there. The other problem that is going on in the United States is we're 
STEM is such a popular and a we're in such demand. Uh, we are simply not producing enough computer scientists and enough STEM uh, st students to fill all of our needs. And uh, so that's, that's the problem. We have this gigantic need and we're not graduating enough. That is beginning to change. We're seeing an uptick in the number of, of graduates uh, from at the college level. That's fantastic. Uh, but if we don't meet that, then those jobs are either going to go uh, overseas or the jobs are going to be unfilled and the tasks aren't going to be completed. And that would be problematic as well. Um, so there's, I think the jobs are going to be out there for your students if that's something that they are interested in pers uh, pursuing. So this is it's a challenging class. There's no getting around it. Uh, my argument, Mrs. Martin doesn't like my expression here, but it's like taking AP French without ever having had French. Most of the students in this class took computer science principles previously. That really does help. So I think that we're seeing uh, an improvement in our scores because students aren't walking in totally cold. They're walking in with a degree of experience from the CSP course. There are some students that skip CSP, that's totally fine, but just know that it is, they don't have programming experience, it can be a real, real challenge. I don't assign homework, this is something that is important for you to know, I don't assign it, I don't say take this worksheet home, bring it back tomorrow, um, but I, all of the assignments that we do in class uh, are available outside of class, and so if a student wants to uh, falls behind, it gets lost in something, is looking to pursue something unique, uh, they can certainly do a lot of programming, uh, a, a lot of the work outside of class. It's all on Google Classroom now, um, and that's, um, you know, so it's all accessible to them. Um, the concepts do build, it does, computer science tends to spiral, so we start pretty simple and then it gets more and more complex and we build on top of that. And so having that strong foundation from the get-go really does help and it is an important thing. So how, how are students successful? Well, hopefully they like it. And if they do, they tend to like making, doing their own enhancements. Uh, what I try to do in my classes is to provide students with kind of a foundation. So here's the, the basic idea. For example, this week we were looking at uh, primitive data. Here's just tweaking some numbers around. Their job is to then take that basic concept, come up with your own program. What's something that uses these different data types uh, and is able to output some, some things? So to be able to think on their own, uh, think creatively, create their own projects as well as just, uh, here's the, the task, finish this one task. Uh, so the other thing I, I, I think really does help if they like struggling, if they like dealing with a, a challenging problem and overcoming that problem and they have that intrinsic reward with, yes, I got it to work. That's really cool to see in the class, I gotta say. Uh, it's really neat when a student is working and struggling and it's erring and it's not outputting what we think and there's an issue and a problem and then all of a sudden it comes together and we realize what the issue is, the joy on their faces is really pretty cool. I think that there's a benefit to working collaboratively as well. Uh, I call it code spine, where you're just like, what did you have? And you look over someone's shoulder. Uh, so not that, but having a discussion about code. How do you do that? What was what was going on? What's What seems to be the problem with, with my code and how come your, yours works? Uh, I give them a textbook. It's really a reference book. I don't assign reading per se. I don't say read these pages and there'll be a uh, a compre uh, comprehension test on it later. Instead, it's a reference. We're working on chapter two, we're working on chapter four. Uh, reading that really is gonna help. I, I have my way of, of presenting the material. The book has is very, re very, very readable, I believe. And so reading that, I think is really gonna help out a lot. Um, so to, again, to understand the, the concept sometimes in programming, if their code compiles, if it outputs what I say it should, some students put a big check next to that. Do they understand the code? No. Do they uh, appreciate what the, 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 what's really going on behind the scenes? Can they explain it? No. That, that, if that's going on, that's a problem. Uh, so what I typically do is I'm really, what I tell the students too, is I'm not that concerned with if their program actually works. What I'm concerned about is do they understand the concept that we're working on? 
do they understand what an array is? How do you, how to access different points, how to loop through it and find different elements, how to sort, search, all that kind of stuff. Um, and if they're able to do that, then that's, that's going to be a, a definite plus. So that's, that's it. That's uh, computer science in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Email is the best way of uh, reaching out to me. T Clifford at Carmel Unified. Um, uh, I think it's a great class. I think your kids are, are great. I've enjoyed the class uh, so far and I'm looking forward to a great year. Thanks a lot for watching.